G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem on this channel. You'll find lots of videos about the whole medieval world. Lots of insight into the battles, who are the big key figures in the events that took place and why did they take place in the way that they did. We look at the religion and the politics of the time, the social implications. We look, look at the battles and we also look at... Uh, the other big thing that we do is lots of reviews into medieval gear and we do lots of DIY videos into furniture and also into costuming. Right, so today we're looking at a, a medieval style treaty chest. This project's been on my mind for a few weeks now and I've been looking at how we can make this work and what it's going to look like. Uh, today we're going to be partnering with my son Matthew he's going to do some of the work with us as well which is a bit exciting uh, as a dad to bring my son into some of the um, the DIY aspects of what we're doing uh, but he's keen and we're on holidays so why not alrighty so we're gonna make this one out of pine I can't afford oak unfortunately uh, and it's going to be more orientated unto the sort of uh, 11 1150s sort of area is where I tend to do a lot of my medieval reenactment. Uh, I'm not looking to duplicate or to recreate uh, some of the existing chests like the Treaty of Calais chest. Rather what I'm trying to do uh, is to make something a bit of my own, something that's a bit unique and something that it's a bit uh, different. Um, so, ready go, let's crack on. So we've skewed it ahead a little bit, we didn't get all the vision of us doing some of the painting. Still needs a little bit of touching up, but that's fine. We need to route the sides, uh, or the edges rather, just to give it a nice... Um, Smooth curve. A nice edge, that's right Matthew. Uh, the shields are all pretty much detailed, they need a little bit of touching up. Let's have a look over here. So these are designed as being fairly typical of the uh, 11th and 12th century kind of very basic heraldry that you might have seen at the time. I think there's three left that we need to finish. Once we've done that then we're going to put down a stain on the wood and um, then we're going to put an oil based varnish on top of that. Uh, oil based so that it'll protect the chest from the weather. Obviously this is something that I want to be able to take when I'm um, doing reenactment events and so on. We now have a pretty good chest. Pretty happy with this. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is just put a router around the outside edges and then I'm going to uh, put a stain over the top of it. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm now just going to put an oil based varnish on top and that'll be uh, pretty much the project complete. Still waiting unfortunately on a pair of historical hinges so uh, I'll have to do that at another time but otherwise this is all pretty much good to go. For those of you who are interested uh, it is 60 centimeters long, uh, 24 centimeters wide and 22 centimeters tall. Roughly historically accurate. Um, there were obviously a bunch of different treaty chests that were made historically. Uh, some of them are slightly different sizes but most of them are all within that sort of size range. So there we go. Um, although this wasn't originally designed as something to be super historically accurate or anything, this is just something uh, that I've done as a, as a sort of an interesting Alrighty guys, all completed, all finished, all done. Uh, super happy with that, it's been a great project to do. Really proud to have been able to do something like this with my son. So, uh, really good sort of project, lots of fun. Uh, great simple, didn't cost too much money. Uh, great little thing to do as we go along. Um, really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe and share. For those of you who are interested, Matthew has his own YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description below, mostly on things like online gaming and that kind of stuff. Uh, so um, if you've got kids or you're into that kind of thing, then that might be uh, of interest to you guys. Uh, otherwise, I'll catch you in my next video.